Hey guys, welcome back to another snail mail video. And today is the outside beautiful autumn afternoon edition. And that's almost enough alliteration to make my tongue get a little bit tied, but I hope you guys will enjoy the view of my gorgeous backyard on this beautiful autumn afternoon. I absolutely love it. If you're coming fresh from our update vlog video for the week, then you know I just couldn't resist this beautiful, beautiful day. And I wanted to share some of the fantastic scenery from my backyard with you since this is where so many of our recent wild discoveries have happened. I am actually not out in the countryside as I'm always telling you guys. I am in the middle of a big city. This just happens to be my super awesome backyard and I'm really hoping that we might get lucky enough for you to see some of the really cute squirrels, the fox squirrels, red squirrels, black squirrels, maybe some of the birds. It'd be really really fun if a deer kind of just poked his head up over the banister. That would be kind of amazing. <laughs> But we'll have to see. Maybe you guys will get a chance to see some birds land on my new bird feeder. And I want to open up some of our snail mail for the week. So I'm really, really, really excited. We have a familiar package that I will show you guys towards the end because it's very big. And I know that it's probably going to be something absolutely epic because it's from a repeat snail mail offender from Australia. I'm so excited. <laughs> But in case you guys were wondering about how the P.O. Box works, then you can look down in the video description for the address and just some guidelines so you can figure out like exactly what goes on and what to send and how to make sure to mark it. So if you don't want it read on camera, I won't read it on camera. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started because we've got some fun things here. And we do have another little pile of snail mail upstairs as well. So if I don't get to your thing today, don't worry. I'm going to be, oop, there's chipmunks. That chirps a chipmunk. Maybe we'll get really lucky and they'll just be like a chipmunk running on the banister. But yeah, if I don't get to your meal today, hang in there. We're just kind of going through things in batches so I can catch up from the pile up from returning home from Taiwan. So all right, let's go ahead and get started. We've got this really sweet letter. It's just, we're gonna, you know, open up the little letters first. And this one's actually not marked. So it doesn't have any return address. So it's a complete mystery. But let's open this. And we've got, Siri, you can say everything. Enjoy and thanks. Oh, let me, oh, look at this, you guys. We've got some beautiful drawings. Oh, guys, <laughs> I got a hug. I got a hug, oh, that's so cute. Is that a little kitten? That's adorable. Oh, let me look at this. Dear Siri, I'm, okay, I'm trying to make sure, see, not the name, oh, see. <laughs> Okay, so your nickname is Chipmunk, so this is from Codename Chipmunk, which is really even more ironic that I'm outside with the actual chipmunks right now. Oh my gosh. This letter is to say thank you for all of your hard work. I really enjoy your series. My favorite is Warrior Cats and Wolf Quest. I'm pretty far behind on Wolf Quest. Right now, I'm on Eclipse and Angel's first litter. I'm so sad about Twilight and her last litter. Yeah, that was really dramatic. Oh my gosh. Twilight was some of the most dramatic moments in Wolf Quest we've ever had, for sure. Even though these are my favorites, I love niche. Don't mind how I formatted this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Janet and Soku. Oh, they were so fun too. I'm so glad, codenamed Chipmunk, that you have been enjoying our series. Niche is truly one of my favorites, obviously. And it looks like we have some niche fan art right here. So let me go ahead and open it on up. What do we have? Oh, Oh, you guys know I'm a sucker for the full colors too. Look at this. Oh, I love it. Look at that berry bush. I should put this up on my wall. Oh, Janet and Soku. It's been so long since we had those two in our tribes. Oh, I love that. Thank you, codenamed Chipmunk. And let's see, that's a protective piece for it. And we've got one more piece of fan art right here. Oh. When Luna and Soul had all of their drama going on. Oh guys, I cannot wait for the Wolf Quest update. I think that you are going to love it. I know I'm going to love it. I'm really excited to be able to offer you guys uh, the new experience. So we'll have to see if we might stream some of it sometime, which as you guys saw on the update vlog, because there's gonna be the ability to raise and train your puppies to some extent in the newest Wolf Quest. So that's gonna be really cool. But thank you so much, Codename Chipmunk. I really love the drawings of Soku and Janet, and I think I'm gonna put that up on my wall so you should be able to see it in some of my uh, background videos. Or the, the background, the videos, the background of the videos, there we go. <laughs> thank you, Codename Chipmunk. 
And then right over here, we've got another unmarked package that I'm very curious about. Oops, <laughs> there we go. Very curious about, and it does say, Siri, you can read on camera if you want. So let me, oh wow, there's lots of stuff in here, guys. What is in here? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, had, I had peeked a little bit. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is so much treasure. There's even more treasure. It's all sorts of beautiful little treasures. Hang on just a second here. <gasps> oh my goodness, guys. Okay, let me go through everything. The first thing that really leaps out at me is that we have got some gorgeous and beautifully done origami paper cranes. This is really ironic because if you guys saw my office tour video when I was showing you a tour of my office, I have a whole bunch of beautiful origami paper cranes I actually made in high school with my best friend at the time and I still have them to remember those afternoons of sitting with her and we would just relax and practice our Japanese together. We were in Japanese class and we would fold paper cranes and we always wanted to get to a thousand but somehow we just never, you know, you, you think that you're going to do that project but we just never really got through on it. So it means a lot to have these paper cranes because it reminds me of those afternoons of sitting with friends. And that's what we can do together now, isn't it? Just sit together, sit together as friends. Oh, I love it. I love it. And there's quite a bit here too. There's, oh, my mom is gonna be so jealous. <laughs> A Celtic collection key ring. I actually have a special little spot on my desk that I hang the key rings you guys send to me. It's really fun because they make like perfect little uh, hanging decorations. May your troubles be less and your blessings be more and may nothing but happiness come through your door. That's a really sweet saying. I like that. I know exactly where I'm going to put that. Thank you mystery person. I haven't even found the letter just yet. My relic. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Delph, <laughs> it's you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to message you on Twitter. You, you little goose. Oh my gosh, my goal. Oh my gosh, you're gonna make me cry, Delph. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is Delphron. He is another YouTuber. I'll try to put a link down to him in the video description below because he is just so amazingly kind and sweet. He's actually one of our patrons too and is in the Discord now and then. He just came to visit the United States. I wasn't anywhere that we could have visited, but it's just been... He does really great work. Really great, sweet work. And he... he oh my gosh. I'm gonna cry. How, oh my gosh. <laughs> When it's somebody that I know know and then they like didn't put any kind of message. It just oh my goodness Okay, my goal is to create happiness and with you inspiring me with love honesty and an unapologetic passion I can't go wrong from Delphron. Okay, you're gonna make me cry buddy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm messaging you as soon as I'm done with this. Now I'm shaking. This is why I decided not to do snail mail streams, by the way, because I would just be a, a crying mess and you guys don't need to see that live. <laughs> Maybe sometimes I need a chance to just like take some deep breaths. Oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful card. This is so gorgeous. Oh, and I'm going to I'm going to have to read this one. I'm gonna have to read this one privately because I'm shaking so hard. All right, in this card, the closest I came to a relic, uh, a beautiful Irish bookmark I included three postcards with pictures of my town, which is the oldest town in Ireland. It's small but beautiful. I hope you can see it one day. I once read when I was young and struggling that if you made 1,000 origami cranes, then your wish would be granted by the universe. So over the course of a year, when I was anxious or stressed or upset, I would make a crane. I did make 1,000 and wish for happiness. My life has slowly gotten better since then. Knowing how, knowing you has been a big part of that. Thank you so much. Oh, I included some paper for you and Chips to try to make some. I also included a spare thank you card in case you wanted to keep it. <laughs> I'm a shaking mess right now, Delph. Oh my gosh, Delphron. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm shaking so hard. That means so much knowing it comes from you two and knowing some about you and your story and knowing that you made the cranes when you were trying to wish for happiness as well. These are so precious to me. I am going to be carefully adding them to my collection of those cranes I've kept since I was a young teenager to remind me of those afternoons with my friend and they are welcome beautiful additions to my flock of happiness cranes. So thank you so much Delphron. I am still shaking so hard. Oh my gosh. I am going to sit down with Chips later and I'll teach him. I'll teach him how to make cranes and that's going to be a beautiful beautiful 
memory for me sitting down with the love of my life teaching him through the gift of a friend from halfway across the world how to make paper cranes that's just beautiful thank you i knew see look at me oh my gosh <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> zoo crafting does have a special place in my heart too I cannot wait to bring zoo crafting back on a whole new level and the Patreon community has actually really helped out with that because it was so funny. I, I got so stressed with zoo crafting. I haven't done it for so long because I was so worried everybody who was new would come in and leave comments like she never does anything and it stressed me out and chased me away from doing zoo crafting because I felt like I was letting everybody down every time I made an episode. And it's really funny because then I was asking my patrons when we first started the Patreon Discord what should I do? What should I make? And uh, they were like, oh, well, I love zoo crafting. And every single person there pretty much said that they fell in love with our community because of zoo crafting. And it blew me away. And I had no idea that even though I hadn't made an episode in so long, and even though I missed it so deeply in my own heart for the sense of home it gave me, that it was still having such an impact like years later on all these amazing people who stuck around because of that impact and then were giving support back to me years later. So zoo crafting means a lot to me and to keep getting all these notes that it means so much to all of these other people too is just holy moly. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, okay, so let me go ahead and we're gonna look at these amazing postcards. Let me, let me show them. Here we go. Look at these, the oldest town in Ireland. I hope I can go and visit your home one day, Delphron, because that would be amazing. Chips and I traveling the world, getting a chance to see some of you amazing people and just seeing how kindness and joy and positivity and community can spread worldwide. My little heart is pounding so hard <laughs> right now. Oh, and here's the other card. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Dolphron. And he's also sent right over here a lovely little bag with some Pokemon cards in it. Oh my goodness, of my beloved birds and a wishy-washy. I've never seen that guy in a card form. Focus, focus on the cute little wishy-washy. Camera's like, no, I don't want to. Guys, look, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. Oh my gosh, there is a Dartrix, there is a Psyduck, there is a Spiro, and there is a wishy-washy. Look at how cute that guy is. Oh my goodness. His abilities cowardice that are so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh Delphron, I'm shaking like a leaf. This is so wonderful. And then we've got one more little piece right here. Let me go ahead and open this up. This I think is the bookmark that he mentioned. I am gonna sit down with chips and we're gonna make some origami cranes and it's gonna be the most beautiful thing and I can't wait to add your cranes to my, my flock of joy as I'm gonna have to call it now. And this is beautiful. My mom is gonna be so jealous. She is obsessed with she is obsessed with Celtic things. Look at how gorgeous that bookmark is. Thank you, Delphron. I'm gonna put that somewhere that I either can use it or it can be a just absolutely stunning piece of art. This is truly beautiful. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I am gonna be, I am gonna be sending you a flurry of messages in a couple seconds here. This is amazing. <sighs> wow. <laughs> But all right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will be talking to you very shortly here. I, I am oh, just such a shaking mess. And then we've got a couple more, three more packages to go through really quickly. Um, oh my goodness, before I see it, we have to do it in batches because Siri's just an emotional flop on the ground by the time we're done with this. But we have a package from Miss Rachel. So I'm going, ooh, what a cool place, White Bear. That is a really cool city to live in. I would love to live somewhere. Well, I live in Ann Arbor, which is beautiful. Uh, Cause you know, you're talking about an arbor of trees. But White Bear is a really cool name. And this is a package from Miss Rachel. Oh my goodness, what do we have here? What do we have here? And I can read it on camera, thank you so much. Dear Siri, my name is Rachel and I have been watching your channel for about two years now. I first started watching just for Wolf Quest, but I quickly got addicted. Then I started watching your other videos and now my favorite series would be Warrior Cats. I would like to thank you for keeping the channel clean, putting so much time and effort into all your videos, and trying always to teach us about plants and animals. So in return, I, I've got to give you two things. First, I drew a portrait of an anime girl because the art style originated from Japan, so you can remember your tip to Asia. Second, I 
I gave you a silver wolf necklace. Oh my gosh, because it represents summer and winter of the wolves. Wolves are also my favorite animals. Lots of love and thanks, Rachel. Oh, Rachel, thank you. And thank you, I have your other letter as well. Oh, hope all was well in Taipei. Oh, Rachel, thank you. Look at this beautiful drawing, you guys. And look at that necklace. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love that. Oh, and look at this warrior cat fan fiction of a cat named River. How beautiful is she? Oh, you guys, I can't wait to bring warrior cats back. Warrior cats, zoo crafting, wolf quest. It's amazing how consistent so many of the, the passion and the love series are on our channel and I really want to be able to do them all justice so I'm beginning to really feel comfortable with staying with some of our old fan favorites and breathing new life and generations into them as time goes on because this is your guys reminders help me remember that just because it's been around for a while doesn't mean that it's any less special to us so thank you for that and then we have the little necklace here that I'm gonna open up I'm so curious a uh, wolf necklace is actually oh wow oh my gosh you guys are gonna be seeing me wear this oh my goodness guys look look at this gorgeous wolf necklace oh my gosh it's so pretty look at that silver wolf Oh, that's so lovely. That's the perfect thing to wear when I am working on Wolf Quest or some of our other series. Oh, can I put it on right now? Let me try. Let me see how this goes. There we go. He's gonna hang out with my Animal Crossing leaf for today. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rachel. I cannot wait to read your letter in just a moment here. I, I'm, oh, it's so amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much and thank you for the reminder that Wolf Quest is deeply loved. I really love it too. I will admit it can be hard to play the same three levels over and over again, but with the new release that's coming out, I think that's going to just give us so much opportunity to tell new Wolf Quest based stories. And I'm really excited because right now the Wolf Quest YouTube page actually has little interviews of them going to Yellowstone, actually physically going to Yellowstone to do research for their updates to Wolf Quest. So it's definitely worth checking out. I know that the update is going to be coming out at some point pretty soon And I'm really excited and hope you guys are too because I think it'll really help to Update a game that has not only been so fun for so many people and educated so many people about wolves But also built a lot of communities and a lot of creativity and a lot of love for the stories that people have created around it so oh my goodness before I completely just curl up from uh, being overwhelmed with emotion We have a couple more packages to go through I'm gonna go ahead, whew, ah, deep breath. Ah. Okay, there we go. Took a deep breath and we've got two packages left, one of whom is from, ooh, I think Megan. I think Megan, the pen got a little smushed, but I think this is from Megan and this is from Canada. So from Megan in Canada and it's quite a, quite a hefty little package. So let's go ahead and carefully, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, is this more wolves? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Megan! Oh my gosh! Okay, let me make sure that I got everything. <laughs> I don't have a Minecraft kitty yet. Oh. <laughs> this is what I can't stream snow mail. I am crying. Megan, Megan. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't have a Minecraft kitty yet, and I love cats. Oh my goodness! Here, come sit with me, little one. Can you can you sit right here, Megan? And wait till you guys see what she painted. Oh my goodness! Gecko and Apple Star. Dear Siri, I drew you a gecko and Apple Star from Warrior Cats Untold Tales. To Siri from Evelyn. There we go. Look at this, guys. A cute gecko. A cute Apple Star. I'm so glad you guys like Apple Star. Enjoy him while you can. He's on his last life for sure. He's actually past his last life, but we're forging on anyway. And then we've got uh, two Siri right here. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Also, somebody in your family is a scrapbooker because I recognize 12 by 12 paper when I see it. My mom used to run a scrapbook store, so this kind of makes me like throw back to 12 by 12 sheets. If you guys remember scrapbooking in 12 by 12 sheets, then for sure just let me know in comments. Um, I am so in love with this from Ashley and Evelyn. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Evelyn. I apologize that I misread the name as Megan. Oh my gosh. Um, 
uh, oh, a biologist. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh my goodness, Ashley, hi. You're a biologist and a mother with your daughter, Evelyn. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, and zoo crafting. <laughs> More zoo crafting lovers, oh my goodness. A favorite bonding moment. Oh, you guys are gonna make me like be swept away thinking about zoo crafting as a bonding moment between Oh, we have multiple, I just realized we have multiple mother-daughter sets that watch Zoo Crafting to bond together. I'm thinking of like two specific moms on our Discord who watch with their daughters. And now we have Ashley and Evelyn and I, you guys won't believe how quick I'm gonna be like jumping back into Zoo Crafting more than ever now. And Joy Journaling, The Greenhouse Rambles. Oh my gosh, Evelyn, oh. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to mm, I'm gonna sit down and read this and reply to you in just a bit here, but I am so grateful for your notes on uh, being careful about burnout and stressors and I really hope you guys have noticed over the last few months and again it's hugely thanks to this kind of stuff this kind of having been overwhelmed and stressed and feeling like I was letting a lot of you guys down because there's a demand and we have a huge audience and a lot of younger members in our audience and I just felt like I was letting everybody down with our stuff and then so many of you started speaking up and just taking the time to leave comments to send me emails. Some of you even sent me very insistently strongly worded emails to take it easy and to have perspective on, on our community and, and happiness in our community and what I'm trying to say is thank you all so much because I really did get overwhelmed for a while there and I really was feeling burned out and you guys sending things like this you guys stepping forward it's not that I want things it's not that I want patrons it's not that I want to be given stuff but there is something beautiful when you create to turn around and your community has your back and you realize not only are you not alone but you're surrounded by friends and they're there the whole time and maybe it was hard to see them because they're people on the internet or maybe it's hard to see them because you're kind of alone creating and you just worry about making as many people in your community as happy as possible but it just has changed everything and I hope you guys have seen that in the last couple months especially this last month when we started streaming the joy the sense of things falling off my shoulders the ability to turn around and just look at what we do and go I want to make our community as happy as possible and that's everything I want from the bottom of my heart and so I really hope you guys have seen that okay I'm really rambling I'm going to read this um, August 13th <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ashley, I am so happy to hear how important August 13th was for you. And I'm just going to have to stop for just a moment. Oh my goodness, because I'm going to cry reading that. But I really hope you and your beautiful daughter Evelyn are doing amazing. And I love Evelyn's drawing of geckos. And that means so much to me. And I would also like to show what um, Ashley has made here, guys. Rose stone. <gasps> <laughs> this is <laughs> thank you <laughs> so much thank you so much thank you thank you thank you oh my goodness is it okay if I name my little cat Evelyn would that be okay with her let me know if that would be okay with her and thank you so much Ashley I hope you and your daughter are having a wonderful stress-free afternoon I hope you have lots to write in your joy journal and thank you so much for your amazing gifts I promise you that these kinds of things I come back to again and again whenever I need to remember that our silly Minecraft adventures can have impacts so much beyond what I think they can. Also, I hope you guys just heard that hawk because that was really cool. Okay, Whew. all right guys, I've got to get through this last package so that I can basically carry all of my precious treasures, my joy flock of origami, my necklace, my beautiful drawings of my nichelings, my beautiful paintings, my new cat Evelyn. I need to take it all up to Chips and just put it at his feet and then just sit down and have a good cry of joy. <laughs> So the last package I have for today is from that repeat snail mail offender who has blown me away every time and I often feature some of her beautiful plushies in our videos but it is from Carrie. Carrie, I don't know when you sent this and I apologize it's taken me so long to get it but Carrie from Australia has outdone herself again. <laughs> 
<laughs> because we have got quite the large package here and I am so excited to see you amazing person you what you have created with your own two hands this time and I'm gonna go ahead and reach in and try not to peek too much but Carrie does amazing work she did the wolf the fox and actually seeing this package was from her inspired me to come and sit outside because almost a year ago today maybe a little over a year ago today we got her fox in the mail and it was perfect and it was because we had done the fox simulator maybe we'll do like another round of that because that was pretty amazing all right let me go ahead you may read this letter on camera if you want it says a beautiful spit snouted male nicheling he he looks quite the dashing guy if you ask me yay Oh, good day from Australia. The contents of this package hold quite the adventure as it went all the way to the USA and then because of a mix-up was sent all the way back to Australia. The package was tattery and smelled of cigarette smoke, which was gross. Luckily, the contents were safe, so I replaced them in a double-checked uh, bag and it should arrive safe. I enjoyed the vlogs from Taiwan and I'm glad you enjoyed the trip experience and the culture, the food, the weather, the meeting, the roof cats, and most important that Chips has advanced his studies. As for the summer events, I think it went well and you did a great job and you should not feel like they crashed. You had a few hurdles such as slower internet, unpredictable weather, and Chips needing <laughs> and Chips needs as well, and the everyday stuff that needs to be done. I loved Summer of the Wolves and enjoyed Nishin Spore. Well done. Thank you so much, Carrie. And I learned a lot from our our attempt at doing a season of summer in space and I'm learning a lot from trying to get like the season of harvest season going I'm also learning that sometimes it's really good just to maybe do two or three extra seasonal events and keep all of our cores like zoo crafting really strong warrior cats really strong because they really make up the core of what people want for their hearts so I'm learning a lot of things about that and I really want to go back to Spore I miss Spore a lot I'm kind of like I didn't want summer of space to end because Spore uh, and then let's see the two nichelings were a lot of fun to make and not the normal stuff I make. Most of my orders come from dog or, uh, dog owners who show dogs like me. Anyway, I hope you enjoy all the goodies as well as keep up the good work you're doing wonderful from Carrie. P.S. I love the giraffe onesie. <laughs> I need to wear the giraffe onesie more often. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. And you're fine. You didn't get me in trouble. Thankfully, the happy birthday uh, video, the happy birthday card you sent me didn't do anything uh, to get me in trouble with copyright. I can't believe happy birthday is copyrighted. So if you like try to play happy birthday, then sometimes your videos will get flagged. And then we've got some ideas for niche challenges. Spots versus stripes. One island, two tribes. Who will dominate? Rainforest tribe. Really curious about the rainforest setting and what kind of tribe could live and survive there. And the hedgehog army. I forgot about having the hedgehog army. That would be really fun to get a hedgehog army going. Oh my goodness. Oh, and hedgehog army from Spore would be so fun. You are right, Carrie. We have a lot of adventures and a lot of fun to go through. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's go ahead and take a peek inside of the amazing package that Carrie has sent and that has apparently traveled the world far more than I have already. <laughs> All right, and one very distracting acorn tumble later, we're ready to see what is inside Carrie's package. So thank you so much, Carrie. I kind of think it's hilarious that this package went all the way to Australia and came to the US and then went back to Australia and is finally here sitting in my lap ready for us to investigate. So let's see, right off the top, I'm just gonna reach in and pull out like the first thing that slides right out. <laughs> yes, Savior! Oh, you guys, this is going to be so much fun. Published for bird lovers by bird lovers. And it covers the black cockatoo, a breeding center, dreams come true, the musk lorikeet, a finch fanatic as dedicated as they come. So this will be really fun to flip through when we come up before more animals to add into our zoo crafting series. I am so excited. Pavo and Ben have both been messaging me about possibly looking into additional creatures. So we'll look into that, you guys. No promises, though. All right, and what do we have? It seems like something's been bookmarked, maybe? Or is just this, is just, this just, <gasps> just, guys, look, she bookmarked it for me. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. Because my finches, my beautiful, precious, gorgeous Gouldian finches actually come from Australia. So being able to read a little bit more about them from an Australian magazine is so much fun. Look at all of these guys, there's so many finches. I could add into our zoo. Tri-colored munyas, the little green singer, the painted finch, that is a pretty finch right there. Look at that, oh my gosh. I would love to add that one in. Oh, look at everybody. The crimson finch, oh look at the diamond fire tail guys. Oh my gosh, 
Australia, you guys know how to do your birds. They are so pretty. How much fun would it be to go and see a planted aviary in person? That would be amazing. And I think that, thankfully, the uh, Gouldian finch has been doing better in Australia recently from what I've been reading. It shouldn't be on the endangered list anymore, but I do need to look up more information about it since it's been updated. And you guys, look at these pictures. As a bird lover who is a proud Audubon member, these make me really excited to see the black cockatoo. I do believe that these guys, the black cockatoos, if I remember correctly, actually do, um, they have a special way of attracting mates by banging a stick on their nest opening, and I think that's the black cockatoo. I have to, tr don't quote me on that because I need to look it up, but there is a cockatoo in Australia that the male will pick up a good stick and he'll bang it against the nest entrance to attract his mate, which I think is pretty cool. But I'm definitely gonna be flipping through this for ideas. I mean, oh, come on. How many toucans do we have in zoo crafting? We need to add in some really fantastic toucans to teach you guys about those amazing creatures. Not to mention, speaking of Australian birds, I don't even have cassowaries in my zoo yet. We've gotta fix that. We definitely need to have cassowaries in our zoo. And what is this? Let's see what Carrie has sent here. Oh, I'm so excited to flip through that magazine. <gasps> Carrie, you know the way to my heart. My bird loving heart. Chicken, chickens, look at this. The complete guide to chickens. <laughs> Chips is going to laugh so hard when I show him. I cannot believe this. It's just full of chickens, beautiful chickens. The Sultan, the Silky, the Lavender Chicken, the Dorking Chicken, oh my goodness. This is so cute. Thank you so much, Carrie. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna flip through this and learn more about chickens and possibly prepare for adding chickens into my own backyard one day in the future. Who knows, guys, check back in in another six to eight years and I'll have a new home, I'll have chickens in my backyard or a giant guinea pig, like, run. Who knows, Chips really, 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 really wants, even though I have educated him forwards, backwards, and sideways on the kind of obligation it would be to look into getting a tortoise. He really wants a tortoise named Speedy. Like that is somehow his heart's desire as a pet. And I keep telling him like, well, we don't plan on having kids. Who's gonna inherit Speedy? And he's already planning on setting up a trust fund for Speedy the tortoise. So we're gonna look into that. That might, who knows? I might end up with a tortoise. You gotta check back in in a few years and we'll see where we have gone. But chickens, I am gonna have so much fun flipping through this and learning more about chickens. Thank you, Carrie. I love chickens. They just make me happy. Oh my gosh. And then what do we have here? Okay, this looks suspiciously like the very familiar, amazing creations that you like to create. She's a very, very talented, I need to see if I can find her information for her store, but she's a very talented plushie and toy designer. Okay, oh my goodness, hang on. I have to, I'm, I'm very carefully just like pulling things out. I'm not looking, I'm not looking. There's multiple things in there. I'm like shaking, I'm so excited. It's more nichelings. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Anna, white mammoth foot, female one of the goddesses, a mortal. Look at her mammoth feet. I have to show the niche creators this. This is Carrie. Carrie. I'm going to have to have the, this, this whole tribe out and about on our, our niche streams. Oh my gosh. Look at her mammoth feet. You guys. She's beautiful! Carrie, thank you! Oh my goodness, I know people get so excited when I have the, the original two that we've got upstairs out in the videos. I think they're gonna be blown away by this. This is just absolutely beautiful. Thank you! Oh my gosh, and I think she has like a mate or somebody sitting on my knee here. I'm not looking down yet because I don't want to spoil myself, but... a niche plushie with derp snout. I would have not believed you. This is beautiful. This, this is truly amazing. This is actually, you look at this and you know this is, this is, this is the derp snout. This is the derp snout. This is amazing. This is just stunning. I can't even handle this. This is Mylis. Happy outgoing teenager striped with derp snout female. Mindless. Oh my gosh. She's so lovely. She is a very welcome, beautiful addition to my pack. I, I, 
I can't even handle how perfect that is. I'm in love with her. I'm in love with her. Come here, Anna. You guys need to hang out with Evelyn. Oh my gosh, look at these. Look at these. Okay, I glanced down. I glanced down and saw out of the corner of my eye. You have spoiled me. Oh my goodness, Carrie. Oh my goodness, like half of, I have to get a whole new bookshelf just to show off all of your beautiful, beautiful creations. And we've got right here, Naraputa, an adult female, panda marked, big horned, rather vain and lazy. Look at those big, beautiful horns. Look at this gorgeous creature. I have never been so excited to have so many, look at these, look at these beautiful ladies. I know that we've got, I just, I can't even, I can't even put words together right now because I'm so excited. Look at the details. Look at the details and all of the different characteristics. This is just amazing. We've got a very happy male upstairs that I'll be able to add these lovely females into his tribe. I cannot wait to show them off to everyone. Carrie, you are so amazing. Oh my gosh, I just glanced down again. I was trying not to peek, but I saw. Look at this. Look at this. Toxicis, the stern, quiet, toxic body, ram horned, cracker jaw male in middle age with hammer tail. <laughs> I can't. Carrie, you are a miracle worker. If someone had told me you could make cracker jaw, ram horn, mega horn, hammer tail, derp snout, and the moot feet on dishlings, I would not have believed them. I would have thought that that would be too hard. How could you possibly transform felt and, and fur into something amazing and detailed? Look at his spots. Look at his tail. You guys, this is so cool. <laughs> Carrie, I'm going to have to dig up your information. I know I have it. I save all of your packages, so I know I have it somewhere. But I have to, if you're like watching or if you want to tweet me or email me or anything, then I will link to your store because this is just fantastic. I, I can't even believe my tribe has just grown by four nichelings. I'm so excited and they are definitely going to be making their appearance in our weekly niche streams. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for your talent and for showcasing the amazing things that creativity and, and hard work and oh, just the inspiration that our community can provide. I am so happy and thank you for the chickens and the wonderful edition of Aviary Life which I shall very much enjoy reading. Oh you guys. Oh Evelyn. Oh, wolf necklace. Oh, sunflower, her sun's, oh, I'm so excited. Rose stone painting with the beautiful sunflower in her hair and Delphron's flocks of joy and our beautiful niche drawings. And there's just so much. And I am just so blown out of the water. And I just can't thank you guys enough. I, I wanna like rush upstairs and start recording. I wanna go on walks. I wanna show you guys the beauty of this world and the beauty of what you guys create too. I always wanna reiterate when we're doing our snail mails that this is to show you that's not just me, that there are amazing kind people all over the world, possibly in Australia with you, possibly in Ireland with you, possibly in Taiwan with you. I was amazed at how many Taiwanese viewers we ended up having. And so you're not alone. And there's other people who are going to love these adventures and love the natural world and be eager to look for acorns and little chipmunks and birds flying by just like you. And I love that about our community. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I have to go rush and show all of these amazing things to Chips. I am just so, so happy. And I am going to use that happiness to really try to create some fantastic adventures to share with all of you. So I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. <laughs>